We join the continuous appeals delivered in recent months by His Holiness Pope Francis, strongly calling for peace in the Ukraine. These were the words of the Lieutenant of the Grand Master, Fra John T. Dunlap, who spoke to the diplomatic corps accredited to the Sovereign Order of Malta, present at the annual audience at the Villa Magistrale in Rome. In his speech, Fra John Dunlap stressed the importance of bringing the conflict in Ukraine to an end, which has prompted almost 8 million people to flee the bombing. He also focused on the many forgotten wars in the world, such as those in Yemen, Syria or Ethiopia. Moreover, he shed light on the refugee crisis, the scourge of poverty and human trafficking, on the several challenges in the medical and health field and on the threat of climate change. The Order of Malta responds to these issues around the world every day by embarking on many projects. The Grand Chancellor of the Order of Malta, Riccardo Patino di Montecupo, explained. 2022 was a very tough year. Not only did we experience the long-term effects of the COVID pandemic, which spread all over the world, but then the war in Ukraine broke out. The Order of Malta has mobilized personnel for both these issues and is dedicated to its daily commitments, which are ongoing. In Ukraine, we have done an incredible job, both inside and outside the country, in neighboring European states like Poland, Slovakia, Hungary and Romania. We have provided help and protection to refugees by distributing food and helping with logistics. Moreover, the Order of Malta is ever-present, with its associations in 48 countries and with its embassies in 110. On this very day, I'd like to point out how indispensable the cover of the diplomatic services, particularly in countries with political unrest or at war, without which this aid to refugees couldn't be carried out safely and effectively. These guarantees not only serve to enable our volunteers and operators to do their job, but also to be protected, given that they often intervene in risky situations. In fact, the Order of Malta has this privilege. It is a religious order, and at the same time it enjoys an international juridical character, which allows us to carry on multiple and more functional activities in the humanitarian field. 2023, God willing, we will continue with the same kind of commitment.